Oh, people today were out in front of Shaw's supermarket. Take a good last look of it. Because not only the death of department store, the death of the toy store. Now we have death of the supermarkets. I mean, I've shopped here in the late 90s, early 2000s. But yeah, they, by then they started going up on their prices. Didn't like that. But I'm surprised they last this long with their high prices, but I guess their high prices have thrown them under. <laughs> so I mean, it's a total blowout sale. <laughs> I don't know what could be left in there, or even if they're stocking, but by the looks of it, they're just, uh, Selling everything and shutting the doors up. Stinks, dog is right. A lot of jobs. A lot of jobs gonna be lost. <clears throat> you think you'd have some better economical reasons why? But me, I think it's due to high prices. And you got friggin' com competitors like Walmart. Even Market Basket blows everybody away with their prices. So. I mean, when the brothers split up on that market basket, oh yeah, RDT must have came in with some great ideas, so, but then again, a lot of their products I've been noticing have been getting cut corners, just like everybody else. A lot of things I'm finding out that due to the high economy, the lower the, um, quality of the food is getting. I'll tell you, I bring an order my, I mean, I didn't order, but I bought a friggin' nice, one of them split hams you cook, and oh my God, I almost got sick off it. Cause it just tasted like crap, tough as leather. I thought I'd show everybody over here anyway, what's over here, cause of the fact that right, this used to be Foster Grant. Now I think they're in another state. You used to buy your sunglasses. It used to be big popular in the 70s. But anyways, that's it. They're going out of business, Shaws. Uh, take a little cruise. Go, go up here. Go up in this part of town. Of course, Lemonson Hospital, I have a picture of that, what it looked like uh, back in the 80s, and they have sure done grown a lot. Now they're making, oh my God, that hospital now. I went up there to pick up my son because he had a little issue. And anyways, I mean, not to get too much detail on that, but you gotta go through a goddamn security check. That's right. You go on the new door. We got a... Uh, and you're not allowed to videotape or take photos. Like, damn, how am I supposed to put this on Google Map? I was pissed off. <clears throat> but yeah, they got a whole friggin'... Um, you feel like you're in the airport. Security check. They got the... Uh, metal detector and everything set up. The real sick patients can go around it if that's the case, but other than that, you're checking your ass in through a metal detector. <clears throat> Stepping up their game around here for something. But then again, you get all them crazy people on drugs and stuff, yeah. I don't know what's bound to happen. But anyways, some things grow, some things fall apart. Just like Shaw's. <clears throat> but anyways, I don't know. Go to this old neighborhood. Used to do the rubbish run up here. Nothing exciting ever happened, but... I worked Lemonster a year, Fitchburg a year, Gardner a year. 
Templeton here. Oh yeah, we got a big huge pothole. Oh crap. Looks like somebody done dug that up, Mr. Flower. Of course this whole road's just crappy. You can tell they really fixed their roads around here. It's hard to keep the phone stable. <laughs> With all the bumps. But yes, that is sad though. Watching department stores fall. Now supermarkets are falling. <laughs> I've been saying it all along. If people would bring their prices down, though, I think they'd stay in business more. It's like, wow. You don't think that the people are going to come in and buy that product. I mean, yeah, the product could be more than, than what they're selling it to make or whatnot. But still, man, that, that's ridiculous. I mean, come on. You think you put in lower prices. I mean, I can't even say that if, you know, you put in lower prices and the products make more because Market Basket does it. So, I mean, ain't no doubt about it, man, that <clears throat> dropping them prices would have saved some of these stores. But Sears got out of their debt. And right now, last night, I went in there to buy the wifey a couple of things. Oh, my God, they got a huge sale going on in that store. Very smart people. 70% off. I was like, dang. And I think this is the only... Oh, I want to stop in here, damn it. I got to get this. The only honey farms that's left around here. And I wanted to show this. Family Pizza. This has been closed for about... Yeah. Dang, I think, shoot. Um, at least five years now. I remember the last time I went in there. But, that was another, and they were all right with food and stuff. But, I guess they gave it up. Another business down, you know. Let me get the picture of this. <clears throat> I gotta get a shot of this so I can take a picture of it later on and screenshot it. Yep. One of the many famous places around here. That's been gone for like four or five years, like I said. Sad to see these places that used to make a killing just disappear I like seeing the last known honey farms <laughs> that used to be a popular store I think C&M pizza is still there ah uh, they've been there forever too but they keep up with the times and keep it going. I mean, if you keep up with the times, yeah, you... And these days, yeah, you want to try and sell a lot more gourmet-type food. Of course, you get all these restaurants around here. But also, you get goddamn places like Market Basket selling $5 grinders. And they pack them, man. Jeez. <clears throat> I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And I mean, they are filling, believe me. I mean, not that as big as the sub shops and stuff like that, but they are big and, and you get full. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of things that just put you down and everything just disappearing. And I guess a building I passed the other day, someone commented in it gonna find a new police station over by this area not the one I said but I guess plans didn't fall through which would have been a nice area for the police and the damn building's huge so now they shut down like a I think it was like a museum or something or a historical society or something like that so he shut that down just to try and make a police station now they're not making a police station. So why would you shut down? A, no, it was a museum. So why would you do that? 
give up all on history in the town that, you know, made this town famous. <clears throat> but, we all know how that goes. Everything ain't always what it's cracked up to be. Of course, the old bell still stands here and come down here. I don't know if they're playing any. Usually they're playing music. <laughs> Come down here like listening to Christmas music. Oh, and I want to do the big revealing. Oh, I forgot all about this now that I got it. Yes, yeah, Central Park. I wanted to do this so bad and so long I forgot and it kept passing my mind. But the big revealing of Lemonson Central Park. Now, when you think of Central Park, you think of New York City. Big, huge, nice park to go and you know that place is just huge like in home alone people get lost in there and never come out well, all right dun, 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 dun. the big revealing of central park in lemonster did you get that did you see it look at that huge place <laughs> look at it did you see it Oh my God, that was great. I can't believe I can come down to Central Park and get lost like New York City. Did you see it? Probably not. You'll have to rewind it because that's how big it is. <laughs> Central Park revealing. Oh, I just had to do that. Oh, I've been dying to do that, man. Central Park. Like I said, you think of Central Park like friggin' Home Alone, the, uh, you know, Joe Petchy telling the kid there, Macaulay Coffin, oh, no, it was Bart Parton in there, I forget his name as an actor, but, oh, kids have nothing missing around here, people, adults don't even come out of here, well, Central Park, here, yeah, you ain't gonna be able to get lost in that sucker. <laughs> oh, man, Central Park people. Too bad you couldn't really see it without all the snow over it, but... <laughs> oh, man. I'm having too much fun with that. The revealing of Central Park. And I missed the street, damn it, to go down and show the new police station. But it was a Lincoln school I stopped in front of in my other video anyways. But, damn. <laughs> Central Park, people. You ever come here, go visit it. <clears throat> Just make sure you don't bump into someone. They might get pissed off at you. <laughs> walking around a corner. You know, walking in there, sitting on the one bench. You might have to, someone going to break out a fight saying, I'll sit in there first. Shut up. He's <laughs> crazy. <clears throat> you got more room down here at the graveyard to walk than Central Park. Oh, man. Too much, people. Too much. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this segment. Death of department stores, market, we oh yeah, market basket, supermarkets, and toy stores. Of course, Toys R Us died out a long time ago. Last year, that was a. Then again, I don't care. Toys R Us killed Child World. My panda guy got lost. So screw Jeffrey. You get what you deserve, you old fart. What about my panda guy? Toy the uh, child world. Child world. All right, people. Over here in this factory, I get some bad vibes if anybody wants to tell me about that one. Like someone got murdered in there or something. Never know. The next video will be safe. Take care. Come visit Lemons to Central Park. <laughs> Out.